Hey everyone, this is Kate here from the Style Coaching Team. Okay, so over the next few weeks, we're going to be talking about how to develop your sense of style. Today, our starting point is simply to define what your personal style is currently like right now. So if you're up for a fun challenge, then grab yourself a quiet half an hour and come and join us for these simple style steps. The first thing we're going to do is take a closer look at your current wardrobe. Place some of your personal favourite items onto the bed, choosing the pieces that you love the most and that make you feel amazing when you wear them. If you have the time, then try on some of the items and ask yourself the following questions. Looking at the pieces that you chose as your favourites, ask yourself whether there's a common theme. For example, it might be that they're all elegant, clean cut, sophisticated styles, or maybe feminine and figure hugging, or perhaps loose and natural and comfortable. It might be that they're androgynous styles. Whatever the general theme for you, it's really useful to become aware of what you naturally gravitate towards so that you can start to fine tune your sense of style. If you're not sure, then take a look at our YouTube channel for our style personality videos and see if you can define whether you are a natural style personality, a romantic, a creative, a dramatic, or perhaps a classic. How does the piece feel when I wear it? Where does it fit most closely to my body? Does it hug certain curves or drape over certain aspects of my figure? Does it flare at my hips or perhaps from under the bust? Or do the lines all hang quite straight? Does the fabric lie flat? Or are there any other features like flounces or ruffles, ribbons, sequins, pleats, ruching, applique, or other kinds of embellishments? Is it one of our neutrals like grey or navy, camel, black or white? Or perhaps it's a warm and muted autumn tone, something like Bordeaux wine, shaded spruce, chocolate or mocha brown. Maybe you could picture it being a clear and bold winter colour like a sapphire, vibrant purple or cherry red or perhaps maybe a distinctive spring colour like coral or apple green or cornflower blue or perhaps you could visualise it being from the dusky summer palette where we see colours like mulberry or aubergine or smoked violet Ask yourself is it a solid colour or does it have blocks of colours like we saw in many designs from eras like the 60s? Does it feature a pattern of any kind like vertical stripes or horizontal stripes, symmetrical detailing or asymmetrical detailing? Maybe it has a floral motif or perhaps a dramatic animal print. The next thing we're going to consider is what your clothes say about you and how you're perceived by other people. Now bear in mind that this can change depending on the context. So for example, at work, people might perceive you as being very sensible, sophisticated, and perhaps a little bit reserved. But outside of the workplace, you might be perceived as very creative, very fun, adventurous, and a real individual. We recommend writing down some of the keywords, thinking about what your style says about you and what you might like for it to be saying. 
While we're on the topic of context, it's important to remember that having a sense of style also means knowing what's appropriate for different occasions. Think about the different roles in your life and write down some of the different situations that you typically tend to repeat each week. Most of us need clothes for work, clothes for the gym, clothes for casual weekends, for nights out, for leisure wear and lounging around the house, and of course for special occasions too. Think about what's appropriate for each of those situations, how you want to appear, and most importantly, how you'd like to feel in each of those lifestyle contexts. Now we've got a really clear picture of your current style, so it's a great time to start thinking about what positive changes you can make and maybe setting some style-related goals. Have a think about it. Would you like to perhaps be a bit more adventurous with your choice of colours? Maybe you'd like to have more variety in the types of clothes that you buy. Perhaps you'd like for your clothes to fit you better and be a bit more flattering. Maybe you'd like to have fun with experimenting with layering and accessories. Perhaps you'd like to have more variety in your choice of shoes and boots. Maybe you'd like to start investing in better quality pieces that make you feel really good. Perhaps it's time to declutter your wardrobe and think about weeding out some of the items that no longer fit with your personal style. Join us next week where we'll be looking at where to find inspiration to further develop your sense of style and start confidently expressing yourself through your clothing choices. Last but not least for today, if you can see yourself in a dream career as a professional style coach, then take a peek at our website, which is www.stylecoachinginstitute.com.